A team of scientists, led by the University of Bristol, has uncovered intriguing new insights into the diet of people living in Neolithic Britain and found evidence that cereals, including wheat, were cooked in pots. Using chemical analysis of ancient, and incredibly well-preserved pottery found in the waters surrounding small artificial islands called Craneggs in Scotland, the team were able to discern that cereals were cooked in pots and mixed with dairy products and occasionally meat, probably to create early. They also discovered that the people visiting these Craneggs used smaller pots to cook cereals with milk and larger pots for meat-based dishes. The findings are reported today in the journal Nature Communications. Cereal cultivation in Britain dates back to around 4000 BCE was probably introduced by migrant farmers from continental Europe. This is evidenced by some, often sparse and sporadic, recovery of preserved cereal grains and other debris found at Neolithic sites. At this time pottery was also introduced into Britain and there is widespread evidence for domesticated products like milk products in molecular lipid fingerprints extracted from the fabric of these pots. However, with exception for millet, it has not yet been possible to detect molecular traces of accompanying cereals in these lipid signatures, although these went on to become a major staple that dominates the global subsistence economy today. The new findings reported now show that cereal biomarkers can be preserved for thousands of years longer under favorable conditions. Another fascinating element of this research was the fact that many of the pots analyzed were intact and decorated which could suggest they may have had some sort of ceremonial purpose. During analysis, Cereal biomarkers were widely detected, one-third of pots, providing the earliest biomolecular evidence for cereals in absorbed pottery residues in this region. The findings indicate that wheat was being cooked in pots, despite the fact that the limited evidence from charred plant parts in this region of Atlantic Scotland points mainly to barley. This could be because wheat is underrepresented in charred plant remains as it can be prepared differently, e.g. boiled as part of stews, so not as regularly charred or because of more unusual cooking practices. The research was led by DRs Simon Hammond and Lucy Cramp at the University of Bristol's Department of Anthropology and Archaeology. Our lipid-based molecular method can complement archaeobotanical methods to investigate the introduction and spread of cereal agriculture. Dr. Cramp added, This research gives us a window into the culinary traditions of early farmers living at the northwestern edge of Europe, whose lifeways are Lee. It gives us the first glimpse of the sorts of practices that were associated with these enigmatic islet locations. Craneg sites in the Outer Hebrides are currently the focus of the Four-Year Arts and Humanities Research Council-funded, Islands of Stone project, directed by two of the papers Ott. We very much look forward to developing this collaborative research going forwards. The next stage of the research at the University of Bristol is an exploration of the relationship between these islets and other Neolithic occupation sites in the Hebridean region and beyond as well as more extensive. Neolithic culinary traditions revealed by cereal, milk and meat lipids in pottery from Scottish Craneggs. Nature Communications, 2022, 13, 1, doi, 10, 1038 per second 41467, 022, 32286, O University of Bristol. Neolithic culinary traditions uncovered. Science Daily. Science Daily, the 6th of September 2022. ift.tt slash qwpkrj3. University of Bristol. 2022, September 6th. Neolithic culinary traditions uncovered. Science Daily.
Retrieved September 6, 2022 from ift.tt/qwpkrj3 University of Bristol. Neolithic culinary traditions uncovered. Science Daily. https colon slash slash ift tt qwpkrj3 access september 6 2022 thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos